Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, whose goodness fills our hearts with joy, song, and praise. You have brought us together this week to learn, to work in harmony and peace. Confirm us in our common faith and goals as we journey to sing together with you and one another. For your blessings on all those present here, give safety to all those who may still be traveling, especially protect all those who are present for this conference as they return to their destinations. To you be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. When the American Guild of Organists was founded in 1896, the Church of St. Peter in Columbia was already 75 years old. This, the mother church of the Midlands, as she is called, and the oldest church outside of Charleston was established in 1821. The Diocese of Charleston which, of course, St. Peter's is part of, had only been canonically established one year before, on July 11th, 1820, by Pope Pius VII. I say all this to remind us who are gathered here tonight that there is a great deal of history in this sacred place, and that we're all members of two historic organizations, and the interesting part of this historical fact is that we're all unified by the God-given gift of music and not the joyful noise kind of music either, but that which is produced in choral presentations and by one of the most magnificent of all inventions, the king of all instruments, the organ. What would our world, what would our different faith traditions of worship be without music, especially that of order? Tonight, I am honored to be among you, for I have a great appreciation for high quality, sacred liturgical music. I want to thank all of you. Thank, thank you for your dedication and your willingness to share your talents and your passion for music, oftentimes in situations which may not be ideal, when work hours are long and compensation is low, and unfortunately in times and situations in which you are underappreciated. Thank you for persevering. All the calls of your love of music. So let me welcome you here to Columbia, to this historic church, and to the ninth oldest diocese in the United States. I welcome you on behalf of Bishop William Oney and myself as Vicar General and the parishioners of St. Peter's and even the people of our diocese. We pray that you will experience the charm of the South as well as our well-known Southern hospitality and that you will go away from here with a song on your lips, maybe a tune or two in your hands, and a deeper appreciation for your calling as ministers of music. Welcome, and may God bless. <laughs> 